My name is Betty Lamar. I am CEO and founder of Empower Her Institute. Empower Her Institute is an organization in Los Angeles that's focused on being in service to marginalized teen girls. They don't need a handout, they just need a hand. And when you can help them see what's possible in their lives, they can do and become amazing and empowered women. My name is Nora Micalena. I'm an engineer, I'm an investor at Make in LA, and I'm also a mom. Only 2% of STEM professionals in the U.S. are Latina, so I always fought hard to increase that number. When I transitioned into venture capital, the same 2% pops up. It's 2% of underrepresented women that are getting funded every year. As we do our searches around the country and around the world, we really focus on these communities that are grossly underrepresented. At the end of the day, we really look for products that are going to make a positive impact in the world. My name is Marty Hazelton. I am a professor at UCLA. I study the effects of hormones on women's sexuality and women's behavior more generally. I think that we should take back the word hormonal. It can be empowering. Yes, I'm a hormonal. It is empowering to think about how that can help me make decisions in my everyday life. My name is Hannah Lim, and I'm the president and co-founder of La La Land. La La Land is a company that was founded by two parents who just set out to create infant toddler products that are modern, chic, functional, and fun. So launching a business while being a stay-at-home mother was not glamorous. It was a lot of hours spent sort of scrambling around trying to write a business plan while the child was napping for two hours and you know assembling prototypes in my garage. The pivotal moment for my creating La La Land was wanting a career for myself, um, wanting the freedom to be with my children when I wanted and how I wanted. Hi, I'm Claire Wasserman, and I'm the founder of Ladies Get Paid. Ladies Get Paid is a career development platform uh, that helps women advocate for themselves at work. Believe it or not, people don't believe in the wage gap. They get angry when we talk about women gaining power at their jobs. So when you advocate for yourself, you are really advocating for the rest of us. So if you get a raise, uh, and I get a raise, and she gets a raise, you know, then collectively we are moving the needle on these things. So you have a responsibility to make more money. My genius is relentless optimism. Working in and on La La Land every day and also being able to run a household pretty seamlessly. My genius would be that I challenge stereotypes about women. My genius is to help women feel not alone. Bringing people together and giving them opportunities to give back.